Hello, and thank you for taking a moment to tune in. I'm Jody Ann Ray, President and CEO of the Texas Society of CPAs. And I'm coming to you from home today because I want our members to know TXCPA is fully operational and our team is working around the clock to provide support and assistance to you and your teams at this unprecedented time. Health and public safety are priority number one. And I know we all understand the very important and critical role that we play in flattening the curve and containing the spread of the virus. You all certainly know that CPAs in the accounting profession play a vital role in supporting businesses, individuals, and our economy, both during the crisis and leading us into recovery. That's why we've been working to ensure accounting is designated as an essential services. We also know some may have concerns about this position. As I said, health and public safety comes first, and we respect the professionalism of our community. This is not business as usual. We know members who live in areas with stay-at-home orders would only be going to the office when it is required to get the work done. And we encourage all members to work from home when possible, practice appropriate social distancing, and take extra precautions to keep all of us safe. We sent a letter to the governor asking him to ensure accounting is designated as an essential service if he were to issue a statewide shelter in place or stay at home order. On Sunday, the governor did hold a press conference and he did not take that action. Since then, we have seen orders issued by counties and now cities. We are reviewing every order to ensure accounting is deemed essential. We have a link on our coronavirus resource page to the Texas Association of Counties current list. All executive orders for stay at home to date have included accounting as an essential service. Now note, if a county has only issued a disaster declaration, it would not include that language. The fact of the matter is some firms have payrolls to process so people get paid. All official IRS communication is still delivered via the US mail. We know that there are a number of filings that you cannot file electronically. And there are still instances where you cannot use an electronic signature. We ask that you please contact us and let us know if there's an order issued in your area or you have any questions about what this means for you and your business operations. We also suggest that you not rely solely on information in news reports alone. The language in the order itself is the best source. There have been some news reports in both the Dallas and the Houston area that are not complete and can, can cause confusion. You may also want to have a business card or a letter with you if you have to go to the office in case you're stopped. And two other notes that I wanted to provide for you today. Our federal tax policy committee has been working hard to advocate for additional filing deadline relief and to get questions answered that still are outstanding. A second letter was issued today and can be found on the resource page. We'll keep you posted as soon as we have new information available. And secondly, we're waiting on the passage of the federal aid package by the House. We'll be coming to you as soon as it's passed to break down what you need to know and help you find answers to your questions. And most importantly, thank you for your continued commitment to the society and the profession. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay positive. Together, we are even stronger, and this community is absolutely amazing. Thank you for allowing us to be your trusted resource, and please reach out with any needs or concerns that you have. Take care.